It's Wes. In today's video, you're gonna see the top 10 pieces of camera gear that made an impact on me in 2019. Let's go. All right, before we go any further, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. I look at my YouTube analytics and I see the vast majority of people who are watching the videos and I'm really pleased there's a lot of people watching are not subscribed to the channel. So take a minute and just hit the subscribe button. Do that for me, that'd be, a, a, the, that'd be the best thing you could do so I can create content for you this coming year, 2020. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. All right, today we're gonna get to do a countdown of the top pieces of camera gear that made an impact on me in 2019. I purchased the Canon EOS R this year and I'm preparing to launch or, or rebrand um, my freelance photography and filmmaking business in 2020, powered by the Canon EOS R. And so it's been an amazing, exciting year. Let's get into the gear that made a difference for me this year. So this piece of gear is the Westcott umbrella. It's an optical white umbrella. My top three words to describe it are light, luminous, and little. For around 20 bucks, it's an amazing piece of gear. It's lightweight and little. I can tuck it inside the low probe photo classic bag that I use. And I, that's with the camera body and two lenses and a bunch of other gear. And you're gonna hear about that bag a little bit later. So that's number 10. All right, coming in at number nine. Number nine. <laughs> is the Low Pro Photo Classic Backpack, which runs about $75. My top three words to describe it are firm, flexible, and friendly. To elaborate, I like the structure. It's firm and it stands up nicely when, when you set it down. The interior is flexible and it's so easy to reconfigure. I can fit a ton of gear inside it. The Canon EOS R body, two lenses, two RODE-GO microphones, the Atomos Ninja 5, the Westcott umbrella, ND filters, batteries, mini tripod, and more. I love that bag. Top piece of gear number eight. My top three words to describe the Polaroid One Step Plus, which you can get for around $120 as fun, frame, and freeing. It's a joy to use and I love waiting to see what images develop when I use it. It's always a surprise. The classic look of the white frame around the image is eye-catching and I get comments whether it's an actual picture that I set on a table somewhere or it's a photo of the instant photo that I post on Instagram. I love to give away the photos I take. It's freeing, it promotes generosity. It's a great way to meet people. All right, next piece of gear, number seven. Seven, my top three words to describe the Tether Pro cable, which you can get around $50, is efficient, effortless, and eager. So there's a video sh about shooting tethered on my channel, you can check out here. And uh, most of my experiences this year shooting tethered were only possible with this cable, which is a USB-C to USB-C. So it easily connects my Canon EOS R to my MacBook Pro. And it's long enough, this is the key, to give, allow me the movement I need to compose the shots. Um, I love that it's orange and it's easy to see. It helps prevent people tripping over it. I'm eager to shoot more tethered sessions this year. It's such a simple concept, but when you shoot tethered, one of the secret joys you don't have to import your images after the session. You're done. All right, top piece of gear number six uh, is the Godox 8200. My top three words to describe it, it runs about $300, are bang, burst, and boom. Bang means this light gives you bang for your buck. Burst means the recycle time is so good you can shoot almost consecutively in a burst, which you can't do with the speed light. And boom, that's the impact that this light creates and with your imagination and composition and this light there are no limits. I love shooting with off-camera flash and my favorite light is the Godox 80 to 200. Okay top five pieces of gear that made an impact on me. Whew. The 15 to 35 RF lens. Now this has a sub substantial price tag of $22.99. My top three words are quick, bright, and plateful and you just have to use it to see. Uh, this lens is helps you be creative in your composition. You can get so much in the frame. It's insane, I love it. It's a bright lens, a quick lens. The autofocus with the EOS R means it's a dream to film with. I love this lens. Number four. 
It's the Godox X Pro Trigger. Top three words for this, which is about, uh, you can get for $69, are right, link, sync, and trick. So I can connect my camera shutter to a light that you can place anywhere in the vicinity of where I'm shooting, and that's bonkers. I love to link my camera to off-camera strobes. Then high-speed sync is a miracle in itself, being able to freeze motion with 1 over 500 or 1 over 4,000 seconds shutter speeds and have the light I want blasting into the frame at the right moment from any angle I want, it's bonkers. You can really become a magician and with creativity think of more and more lighting tricks to amaze your friends, family, and your followers. We're down to the last three, the top three pieces of gear for 2019 for me. The Rode Go wireless microphones. They go for around $200 a set. My top three words to describe them are little, light, and lucky. I love the small size and the lack of wires, which is part of the small, smallness of this audio tool. It weighs nothing and clips on anywhere. I feel so lucky to live in a world that can give us technology like this. Best value out of everything on my list. If you're creating video, you need to prioritize audio, and these mics produce beautiful sounds, particularly, of course, for interviews. All right, here we go, top two. Coming in second place is the RF 35 millimeter lens. It goes for about $449. My top three words to describe it are cinematic, small, and bokeh. I'm in love with this little underrated lens. It allows you to film with Canon EOS R in C-Log in very tight quarters. And with image stabilization paired with the Rode Go microphones, I love it for interviews, giving on the fly interviews a high quality cinematic documentary feel. It loves light. The lens is super bright and gives you creamy, dreamy backgrounds at f1.8. All right, without further ado, let's get to the last one. It's no surprise here. My world was changed this year by the Canon EOS R. It, I bought my first camera body uh, back in February at $22.99. Prices have dropped to uh, $17.99. And my top three words to describe this are ball, bullet, and bow. The weirdest words, but I was just trying for some alliteration. But ball, like a ball that you bounce in it, like a basketball or soccer ball, and you play with it and it's responsive, this camera is fun to play with and it's responsive. It's just, it makes photography and filming more of a game and an enjoyable experience. So one of the words is ball. It's a ball to shoot with. Second word is bullet. This camera is sharp and it's fast and it's piercing and the results are amazing. They're shocking, like the speed of a bullet. This camera is breaking all sorts of boundaries for me and helping me do things with cameras, photography and filmmaking that I've always dreamed of. It's amazing. And the last one is bow. And this one is a little bit impressionistic, but the word bow um, represents the Canon EOS R for me because it's a package. It's this little gift and it's like a bow is tied on it and um, it's like a present. It helps you really appreciate what you can do with uh, cameras, with photography and filmmaking. And so the word bow is like, uh, it's a gift and it's precious and it's also kind of a tight. It's got a lot to offer within a small little um, camera body. So that's it. That's my top 10 things. That's my top 10 pieces of gear that made an impression on me in 2019. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you. Uh, the channel has been doing really well the last few months. I'm inspired. I love the comments you leave. Please leave me a comment and tell me your favorite piece of gear uh, this last year. And maybe those are the, the pieces of gear that are really gonna make the difference in 2020. All right, it's not all about new gear. It's about using the gear you have. So these are the ones that made a difference for me. Please subscribe to the channel, like, leave a comment. I'd really wanna engage with you and hear your thoughts.